Uh, hello everyone and uh, here we are again. Uh, in this video I'm going to uh, talk about uh, code completion in C++ Builder. It's a problem that has been present for many years already and in this video I'm going to uh, try and explain how to fix it. Uh, so um, there has been a lot of work in uh, code completion of C++ Builder uh, for the 11.1.5 version or if you have the latest uh, which uh, is currently 11.2, then we'll see uh, all those improvements. So, uh, generally speaking, code completion is now much better, much faster, much more responsive, but still there are some things that you need to know in order how to set it up uh, to work correctly. And uh, now I'll demonstrate. So, let's simply create a new Windows VCL application. And uh, I'll simply place a button here on a new form. and. Uh, I will try to invoke code completion here by using control space. So uh, you get something like this pretty much, which is um, not useful, right? What I would like to have is to, to be able to select the button one component, which is this one here, right? Button one. Uh, let's see if I'll get anything. So pretty much I won't get anything here, right? Uh, so in order for code completion uh, to work, the first thing is uh, you need to save the project on your disk. So I'll use save all and I'll simply create a new folder. Let's call it X2. So it, it is a mandatory step. Simply uh, save everything on the disk. And once you did that, uh, it will still not work until you reload the project. So I'll just close all and then uh, open recent, the project that we just saved. And now if I uh, go here uh, and I will now use control space. Now he's re-indexing uh, files in the background and once he's done, uh, he will show the code, code completion window and it's here. So now we see our uh, button one uh, present and we can say uh, caption. As you can see, now code completion is much, much faster, but it's dependent on the compiler. So uh, its performance uh, depends on uh, how fast he can compile those files in the background. And um, now let's just switch uh, at, at another uh, component here. Uh, let's edit one. So I'll just simply say here something like, Edit, uh, okay, edit one, text. So as you can see, it's uh, fairly um, fast, right? Uh, and if I run the application, there you go, it works. So uh, that's the main idea uh, of the code completion. You must save your project to disk and reload it. Uh, optionally, what you can do is to use uh, tools options and uh, find save option here. Pretty much saying save C++ project after creation. So if you uh, check this uh, checkbox, then after creating a new project, it will automatically be saved to uh, disk. And then you want uh, need to reload the project in order for code completion uh, to work. And uh, pretty much uh, that's it. I hope uh, this will be useful for you because I know many people uh, suffered uh, this problem for quite a long time, years exactly. And um, well, I believe that things are much better now in, in this regard. Thank you for watching and see you next time.